Hi, so I'm Evan Tobin. I'm Big ID's Developer Experience Manager. That means I help a bunch of our customers and partners build integrations and applications like the one we're going to demo for you today. So we're going to show you a small demo of how you're able to streamline and get access to your Big ID data source, I mean your AWS data sources faster. But keep in mind that this is just a small sample of the integrations we have and ones that you can build yourself. Hi, my name is Chintan Sangvi, and I'm a partner solution architect. And I work with Big ID on various AWS service related integrations and making sure that it is well architected, it is working very seamlessly with AWS and, and other services. So we're going to start out talking about the shared responsibility model, which all of you are probably very intimately familiar with. We'll, we'll go fast for you. Don't worry. We're not going to spend a whole 20 minutes on that. After that, we're going to talk about why do you need data discovery and why do you need access control for that data discovery, right? You have petabytes of data. Why do we care about knowing what's inside of that data um, and what challenges does that present? Then finally, we're going to show you how Big ID solves those challenges for both data access as well as data discovery. And we'll show you a demo of uh, one of our integrations that I was talking about before. Thank you, Evan. Right. So why we need a data discovery, right? And generally, when we talk to our customers, we have seen the three kind of use cases and because of which we need a data discovery, right? So one is when you are creating a data governance framework and as a part of the data governance, you need to understand where your data is, right? Or you need to understand what kind of data is stored uh, in, in your databases, right? And that's where you need some sort of data discovery which will help you to catalog the data, which will help you to create the, the, the catalog, identify the, the data, the type of the data you have stored in it. Right? And then you need to also understand the quality of the data as well. And when we say quality in the sense, whether it is like containing any null or what is the overall quality of it and et cetera. Right? Secondly, we have seen customers uh, using the data discovery when they are migrating their on-prem workload to AWS. Right? So, we have seen that many customers, when they are migrating their data from on-prem to uh, the AWS, they have a migration strategy based on the type of the data, right? So if you have very confidential data, then you want to keep it on, say, on-prem, and some customer will say, we'll move maybe a public data or a non-sensitive data first on AWS, right? And that's where you need a, some sort of data discovery which will help you to uh, identify the data, which will help you to classify the data, right? And thirdly and lastly, is you want to use, uh, uh, you can store data into multiple repositories, right? And you want to scale your overall effort, right? You cannot go to every repository and manually find out what kind of data is stored where, right? And that's where you need an automated data discovery, which will go and talk to your, say, S3 bucket, or in your Redshift database, or in your DynamoDB database, and find out what kind of data is stored into that. And these are the three primary use cases we have seen where customers are using data discovery and access control methods. Okay. Now, this is the shared responsibility model, and we have added this slide mainly to understand that the responsibility of the customer is to take care of the data, right? and, and that's where the, the security is really important, and the services provided by Big ID as well as AWS are really important. Right? But then when you are controlling access to your data, you have a certain kind of issues. right? So one is how do you know uh, what kind of data, where it is stored the data, right? So there are multiple ways you can store the data. You can store data into a normal relational structure. You can store data into a non-relational structure. You can also store data into many different types of data stores as well. I mean, it can be S3 bucket, it can be DynamoDB database, it can be Redshift, it can be any other database. Now, if you want to scan these on your own, you might have to build various connectors to S3 or databases or in other, other places. Now, this is one big challenge where you cannot spend significant amount of time to build connectors and scan these repositories. So that's like one challenge we have seen that, right? Second challenge we have seen is when you already have discovered data, right, you keep on enhancing your applications and your enterprise will add more repositories or more applications, right? So you need to have some ongoing ways of understanding where you have data and what kind of sensitive information you have stored, right? Because, see, enterprises will evolve. You will add more and more features, and that may be the reason why you have more repositories or more sensitive data coming in, right? And thirdly and lastly is 
as a part of the overall integrations, right? You want to scale your overall effort or, uh, or security. You want to scale your overall security, and that's where the challenge comes in. That's where you have like hundreds of accounts or many AWS accounts, many AWS repositories. Right? How can you make it very seamless, where it can go and connect to various accounts as well as your repositories and scan these repositories to discover the PII and sensitive information. Right? So in next few slides, Evan will help you understand how Big ID along with AWS can help you to discover data very seamlessly and meet and help you to uh, remove all these challenges. Yeah, so we have these challenges for discovering data and Big ID is gonna solve each of these challenges um, in a slightly different way. So Big ID is going to be able to scan and classify all of your different types of data, whether that's AWS data, on-prem data, or even mainframe data. So here we see a list of AWS services. We're going to support the wide gamut of AWS services, as well as anything you have on-prem, in Azure, in GCP, whatever kind of data you have in whatever format, unstructured, structured. With that in mind, setting up all those data sources at a modern organization is going to be hard, right? Many of you guys probably work at organizations that have thousands of S3 buckets, each with petabytes of data inside of each of them. Using AWS's programmatic access, we're able to take all of your account's details up to the organization level and add in those data sources automatically as you add them into Big ID, as you add them into AWS. So you create a new S3 bucket, we automatically give ourselves permissions to access that S3 bucket, to classify that S3 bucket for you, um, and then give that data back to you. So how this is going to work is we have an integration with Big ID with AWS Control Tower. So if you aren't using Control Tower, underlying this, there's um, some policies that go into AWS Config. Um, so what it'll do is every time you create a new account inside of AWS Control Tower, it will run a CloudFormation template that is going to add an IAM role into that new account. So it'll automatically start adding the access that Big ID needs to scan those data sources in your brand new AWS account that you've created through Control Tower. That access is going to be granted to a central scanner here. So you set up Big ID inside of one account, you're going to get that access provisioned, and then all of a sudden you are ready to start scanning and getting those insights about your data. The other integration we're going to show you is synchronizing tags from Big ID and AWS. So not only are we able to discover the information about your data sources and give you that inside of Big ID, we can also export that data to a multitude of different providers. One of those providers is AWS Glue. So we're able to take the information that we discover, for instance, uh, where what columns personal information are inside, what columns, um, things like phone numbers, or even stuff like application secrets are inside. And we're able to tag that inside of AWS Glue so you can set up access permissions based upon those tags. So you're able to make a permissions-based tag that says, hey, or a permission policy that says, hey, this has sensitive personal information inside of it. We are not going to allow certain users access to that information. That way, your access policies are based upon what's in the real world as opposed to what you actually think is inside of your data sources. Um, so let's see. OK, so here we just have a video of our integration. This first screen here, if I can pause. Yes, so this first screen here is a sample of the Big ID catalog. So inside of the Big ID catalog, if I, let me go back here. So this first screen here is a sample of the Big ID catalog. The Big ID catalog is going to have a list of all of your different data sources you've connected to Big ID, including those ones that you've automatically discovered inside of AWS, whatever type they are, and it'll collect all the findings Big ID has about that information. So here we just have a bunch of RDS databases that we've connected to show you. Inside of these data sources, we're able to go and see at a column level as well as at a data source level metadata about that. So 
here inside of columns as well as inside of attributes, we're able to see that inside of here we have a social security number and then we have an employee ID that Big ID has discovered about our data. And so as it's going through, it'll show that we have columns and inside of those columns we use regular expression as well as natural language processing classifiers to classify that information. If we go inside of AWS Lake Formation, we're able to see the same data source without anything here. So we haven't run our integration yet, just showing you guys what uh, this database inside of Lake Formation looks like before we've actually ran anything. So inside of our application here, yeah. So we have those same properties within both of them. And then here we go. So we have those same properties within both of them. And then as we run our integration here, we're running a synchronization between Big ID and our MVP, so our minimum viable product, so our demo uh, AWS environment here. You can run multiple different integrations inside of the, multiple different AWS accounts inside of the app. Here we're just posting it to one account. And then so if we go back into our database and go back into our table, we'll be able and scroll down. <laughs> And we scroll. And scroll down, we can see it added those tags and classifiers at the column as well as at the table level from Big ID. So we pulled in all of those classifications we had, um, and you saw on the column level at Big ID for you to run permissions on, as well as at the table level, we're pulling in that metadata from Big ID of who the owner is. Uh, so you can use that as access permissions as well. And then, and then this is going to go on to show you one of the access permission policies set up. Um, so they just, I just go in and I go into my d data lake permissions and I set a data lake permission based upon what sensitive data I had. So I think it's if I have something tagged as sensitive PI, then I don't allow access to certain individuals is what I did. Um, yeah, but that's going to be our lake formation demo um, of what you can do. If you have more questions, which you probably do, right? We just showed you one integration out of hundreds of different integrations and systems. We can export what type of data you have within S3 to. Our booth is literally right behind you at this very moment. And we're also having a happy hour um, as well, if you guys want to come to that. You're all invited. Um, you can go to the booth and ask for a little thing, or there's the QR code up on the screen. Um, but thank you for your time. I hope uh, I was able to show you some cool stuff. Um, and have a good rest of your uh, conference. Thank you.